Every Hour by Annie Sherwood Hawks. Annie Sherwood Hawks was born in Hoosick, New York on May the 28th, 1835. At an early age, she displayed a gift of writing, and at 14, she was contributing poetry to many newspapers. In all, she wrote over 400 hymns. In 1859, Annie Sherwood married Charles Hawks, and from this union were born three children. For most of her life, she lived in Brooklyn, New York, and was a member of the Hanson Place Baptist Church, where Dr. Robert Lowry was a gospel poet, a musician, as well as the pastor. Pastor Lowry recognized Mrs. Hawks' gift of writing and encouraged her to write hymns. One of these hymns, I Need Thee Every Hour, is the only poem that she wrote that's in common use today. This is a recognition, a recognition, an account of Mrs. Hawks regarding the writing of her of this song. One day, as a young wife and mother of 37 years of age, I was busy with regular household tasks during a bright June morning in 1872. Suddenly, I became filled with a sense of nearness to the master and began to wonder how anyone could ever live without him, either in pain or in joy. Then the words ushered into my mind, and those thoughts took full possession of me. I need thee every hour. Mrs. Hawks then showed her hymn to Pastor Lowry, who composed the music of the verses and added a refrain. You see, Pastor Lowry felt that the refrain was necessary to any hymn in order to complete it, as well as to provide an opportunity for everyone to sing the song, including the children. In 1888, 16 years after writing, I Need Thee Every Hour, Mrs. Hawks suffered a great loss when her husband, Charles Hawks, passed away. After her husband's death, she moved to Bennington, Vermont to live with her daughter and son-in-law, where she died on June the 3rd, 1918, at the age of 82. And here are the words to this wonderful hymn. I need thee every hour, most gracious Lord. No tender voice like thine can peace afford. I need thee every hour. Oh, I need thee. I need thee. Every hour, I need thee. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come to thee.